Greetings YouTube, this is PJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 17 of my segmented blind let's play of Fu Kan No Grassestis Trial. Although actually I'm not doing it segmented anymore. This is a live recording, so where are we going? We've got some of our final scenes to go see. So, looking up, we see a shallow light coming in. Today is a full moon, huh? I feel like it's been a while since I've seen one. Since we're all shut up in this underground labyrinth, you kind of lose track of the flow of time. Since we're always fighting inside a Grasesta, when it gets light and when it gets dark, when the sun is up, when the sun's down, it's hard to tell. Someday we might even say that the light of the sun is nostalgic. The sky is narrow around here. Moving to a place where we can better see the moon. We come up on a place where the man with the suspicious smile is standing and watching. いい<笑> How unusual that you would come to bask in the light of the moon. I didn't know you had those kinds of moods. Mm, I would like to put this into put you into a painting like this, Jedal. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or trying to seduce me, and I don't care. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I'm interested. Which one would you prefer? Just disappear, will you? Jidal takes a third option to that little trick. So, Yutre shrugs and gives that dry smile of his. So it seems you're aggressively heading on into the pit of black. You're doing your duty commendably, I'd say. <laughs> and that's what you're saying. But you've been doing a lot in gathering your information as well, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. All the area to which I'm allowed to go, I've thoroughly canvassed. Thanks to that, I've gathered much information. Did you find anything worthwhile? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're looking forward to what I've got. I'm happy that you trust my information. I didn't say that I trusted it. <laughs> hmm, well, that's all right. I said before that if I found any interesting information, I would tell you about it. First of all, ah, right. 
It seems that here in the container of slaves, the slaves that are staying here mostly die without getting out. This lower level with the weep that we occupy, right? Ah, Kaso ni Hori Komareta Monoa, Giu Tamini Narurenga Kyokta Niskunai. Soredake Kasengu Shudan Skunainda. That's right, the ones that are thrown into the lower levels. There are actually extremely few examples of them rising to freedom. Because the ways of earning are so few. The way Yutere is phrasing this, he's testing Jadal somehow. He wants to see how much information I've managed to gather my way. He, he's so troublesome. Well, the slaves are ineffective. Their effectiveness is poor. And there are a lot of them that don't like to put their shoulders into it and work hard. The slaves that are gathered here are mostly not really serious about trying to get out, it seems. The way of rising out to raising levels, rising through the ranks, is fixed. And your lifestyle is kind of stuck like that. The way you have earned, and your earnings are kind of wrung away from you. After all, in this area, for that purpose, there's the brothel and other entertainments. I don't remember seeing any other entertainments, but we'll take Jadal at his word. We did see the brothel, though. And those entertainments are definitely highly effective. What a typical slave earns in a day, he'll blow at night. So while they're here, if they can't uh, self-discipline themselves, they're stuck. And, well, there are a lot of people like that. So it seems they can't pull themselves out of slavery, no matter how long it takes. And eventually, many of them sink into a completely given up stupor. Heh, just hanging around with them, Jedal sometimes feels his spirit grow heavy. So right now we can only get to the lake attached to the temple, the two levels of it right now. But we couldn't go any further. The area we, where we can work is more prescribed than I imagined. <laughs> but it's not that there's no possibility at all. In this country, everything can be bought with money. It's better than be everything being fixed from birth. So if you earn your guild points, eventually you can get out. And knowing that is enough for me. Hey. <laughs> That you don't lose your optimism. You are really wonderful. But it's different from what I expected. Because it's you, I thought you'd be diligently 
searching out an opportunity to escape. Yusrei's gaze looks up above ground. The stairs heading up there. But Yutre does his information gathering and all. He should understand what's up there. Yeah, after all, if Jadal knows it, Yutre probably does already too. If you look around, even if you don't want to, you would understand. In order to get out of here, you have to break through heavy guard. So, basically, if you don't have permission, you can't leave the city. I'm not interested in doing this by force under these circumstances. So rather than waste my effort on something useless, if I can defeat even one more monster quickly, that's the, that's the faster way. I see. So you're taking the straightforward path of escape. It's an appropriate response. As usual, he's taking this roundabout way of approaching it. Like he's trying to get a hint across to me. Speculating on how this exchange is gone. It would be... Are you saying there's some way of getting out? So Ikutsuka. Ah, yes. Several. So he really did get a plan together. In order to formulate it, he was gathering all that information, huh? But almost as if he was making it up. He gives that horrible, suspicious smile of his. If you're trying to entice me onto some escape plan with a small possibility of success, count me out. So, rather than that, you're going to slog along on an incredibly long path, gathering up the guild points to get out? There is no other way. You should understand that, too. Well, now, that's not really the case. Did you know? In this interceptor city, Grasesta, the king the country's hero, the Interceptor King, Zaru Grasesta the 27th, is not the only one ruling. Oh boy, backstory. In this country, the nobles and the ones with power are all associated with the East Gortia Interceptor Corps. This certain, this or this uh, one organization. They're the one that managed the mercenaries and slaves that uh, are trying to subdue the dungeon, right? Sonotori. That's right. And within this organization, the nobles with the highest rank 
are gathered together as the Grasesta Interceptor Council. From a certain point of view, they can be said to have the greatest authority in the kingdom. After all, this Interceptor Council even gives missions to the king himself. Yeah, so the authority is that concentrated. So in managing the affairs in the labyrinth, the most experienced in uh, administration naturally would be nobles affiliated with them. Okay, it makes sense. They're also probably the ones who engage in commerce of the commerce of buying slaves. Grasesta de Sekat Srinarva, Gengik Showai to no Kakawari or Tatsko to a dekinai. Toshia make you no candiva, Sibete Kokoda Kona Tiru no Dakarane. As long as you're living within Grasesta, you can't cut ties with the Interceptor Corps. They're the ones who handle the city and the labyrinth beneath it. They do everything. So so what's important about that is the Interceptor Corps and its affiliated nobles by their individual individual years handle the slaves altogether. And that's the right and responsibility of the nobility, right? うん。それを聞いた時に僕は思ったんだ。それは逆に言うと、利用できるということにならないかな。Mm hmm. And when I heard that, this is what I thought. If we take it the other way, we can take advantage of it. Don't you think? So if the organization likes us, even without gathering the guild points, we can get out of here? Is that what you want to say? Just like that is the weird smile that he floats in the, is what the weird smile he gives us next says to us. Well, if you come across well to them, Without having to go through any troublesome work, you can get out to above ground. Well, if you fuck up and piss them off, then you'll be disposed of, however. Disposed. Do they do executions? Yeah. Ah, oh, no. It's just you'll be forced to participate in an extremely cruel battle. Now, uh, by the rumors, you uh, have also participated in one by accident, right? <sighs> A cruel battle. That calamity of... That did you... Did I call it a demon calamity? I think that's what I called. Cataclysm? Demon Cataclysm? Ah, you know what it is. Ah, just thinking back on that battlefield and that demon girl, Jadal's body just stiffens up. The times that I've felt that kind of fear of death 
Even in the battles that I've been in, only a few have been that bad. <sighs> I don't want to meet her again. But... If we participate in the Demon Cataclysm, even as slaves, we should be able to fight some powerful monsters. So, in other words, it's the best way of earning that we may have. You, you're not thinking of anything weird, are you? Not really. Or nothing you need to worry about. That's what I said. Thinking about what Shil Shiriella and the other uh, and the other administrators were working on. They had all that bustle going on. Maybe the demon cataclysm is coming again. So, if it's an opportunity to earn that's better than present circumstances, I should try and get over there, see what I can do. By participating, we do need to get proper permission, though. So, thinking about that... But thinking of... Upon realizing that, I real... We think it's really unreasonable to think we can do it. Alright, I think I understand what you're trying to say. But it's got no connection to us. What do you mean? The slaves can't catch the eyes of the nobility. That's what I'm saying. We're all stuck underground and thrown about as fodder. We slaves are. The nobility have basically no consciousness of us. And if they're not conscious of us, no matter how wonderful our results, there's no meaning. We're not in their range of sight. <laughs> Hey, don't get all down like that. I didn't tell you all this just to throw you into despair, you know? On the contrary, I can't think of any other reason you're doing this. From this guy's personality, well, maybe throwing a throwing in our face a hope that cannot be fulfilled is unusual for him. How mean. I'm just trying to show my affection for you, yet you're always so cold to me. <laughs> oh. This guy is totally creepy. Huh. I don't know what he's trying to say, and he's not really trustworthy in the first place. What I'm about to tell you, I'll let... I'll give you the right of re to choose whether to accept or reject it, but I'm certain it will come in handy. One will come today, they say, a benevolent noble. For what purpose? According to the conversation of the guards, they're saying 
He's coming to buy a vigorous slave. Oh, I see. Since this guy's been buddying up to the guards and all, and the mercenaries, he was able to draw out this particular bit of information. A visit from a noble. Around here, is this very common? Yeah, no, pretty much never happens. That's why the guards are all in a bustle and all. <laughs> so, it's a strange noble to be doing this. Yeah, even if they do come here, there's not much meaning to it. Mm, yeah, you're right. And for the visit to come at this time, it's not just unusual, they must have some objective. We can guess about that. And so the blue moon floats in the sky. It's true. It's not normal for them to deliberately choose a time like this to come. So, what you going to do? Since you've got such impressive battle power, I think there's a possibility that the noble will like you. Hmm, I don't like to do things with such a low possibility of success. But it's a rare opportunity, it seems, so I'll take advantage of it. Jedal? Jedal? <laughs> Setting aside the exchange with Yutre, All throughout the area, the slaves start raising a ruckus. Ah, ah it seems that the rumored noble has arrived. What kind of noble has appeared? Let's have a look at her face. Alright, checking out a noble. This way. Nope. This way. Nope. I know I figured this out once before. Uh, <laughs> not over here. Nope, not there. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm sure I found this noble easier last time. Oh, two of my mercenaries have fulfilled their contracts. Noble, where are you at? Come on. Um, not there. Oh no, I'm back where I started. Well, whatever. I'll find the noble next time. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.